Hello honeys, welcome back, it's me, Jenny. How is all my fabulous people doing today? We have another DIY project that I want to share with you guys today. Now, I want to make some embellishment for my junk, my traveler's junk journal. I also have a traveler's journal that I'm also going to be working on as well. But today I'm going to focus only on the junk journal. Now, I wanted to make some embellishments to decorate my journal because I was in Michael's yesterday and I had a few embellishments in my hand and I started calculating how much it cost, all of them, and it was like $15 for some stickers and for some embellishments. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to just try to make my own. I'm not even going to try to attempt to purchase these embellishments. I, can, I think I can do it at home. So one of the embellishments that I saw that I really loved and I wanted to kind of replicate, is that what, it, what you would call, kind of um, do my version of it, is a, a traveler's border. So it's going to be sort of like a little border that you put um, like either in the corner or on the bottom of your page or in the side of your page, however you want to use it. Now this border that I want to make is going to be um, in the front of my journal cover. I also am going to make, make some for the inside of my journal, but for now, we're only going to concentrate on the cover of the journal, okay? So, what are you going to need for this project? Very simple. You're going to need some punch outs. Take out your punchers, go into your craft room, all your little punchers that you have that are kind of small, take them out. I use this circle punch. I use this tag punch, I use some heart punches, I use some squares, some circles, I use a whole bunch of different punches and I just started punching out every single thing that I could. I'm using the paper pad that I bought at Michael's which is a map. Let me show you because I already demolished one and I, already, I, I bought two. So this is the paper pad that I actually use to make all these little uh, punch outs. Um, and I also use some um, books, map books. Uh, where is it? I had it and I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. I also use... Um, an old book that I had upstairs I just really briefly went through here and started punching out like pretty little images that I thought would be interested and that also worked for me perfect so that's another great idea if you have one of those like maps books that you're not using take them out and start you know using them for your embellishments you can also use a dictionary that you're not using that's also fabulous to use as well to create nice embellishments for your traveler's journal okay so again I already punched out a whole bunch of stuff here as you can see here I'm, we're obviously not going to use every single one of these embellishments I might do another video showing you other embellishments that I'm also going to be creating if you guys want to see that maybe um, thumbs up and just let me know at the bottom of the video if you're interested to see other embellishments that I'm going to be creating but here I have some little taggies that I punched out some circles some hearts some bigger hearts some much more bigger hearts some bigger circles just really a random of a whole bunch of different things okay I didn't really even think about what I was doing I was just punching out little images and just went crazy now I also um, if you guys saw my haul video, I told you guys that I bought this at Michael's with the intentions of also using it for embellishment. And I also did the same thing. I cut out some of these little cute little images, made them into um, embellishments. And then I used the envelope to make some embellishments like this little heart, um, this little circle, um, this little tiny tag so I you know I did more or less a lot of punching so I can just work with what I have okay so 
let's build my border that I want to do. So what you're going to need are going to be different kinds of little punches, right? It doesn't really matter what kind. I kind of just randomly picked out a few of these little tiny, I hope you guys can see that, little tiny um, punches that I created earlier. Um, I also try to save some like little images like this that came in the 12 by 12 paper. So if you have images like that, save them. Then I have some different kinds of little squares, smaller squares, bigger squares, thicker squares, thinner squares, just a whole bunch of different little squares. We're going to use some of these cute little tags. So let me pick a few. Okay. Um, I also use craft, um, well, this is really not craft paper. This is actually a paper bag. So I also had a paper bag here let me show you just a regular paper bag don't get fancy on me guys okay a regular paper bag from the supermarket um, and I started cutting out also little images as well okay and that worked perfect I also want to show you if you are limited on punches like for example if you don't really have too many punches and let's say that you really are limited on punches I'm gonna show you a trick I'm just pulling out some of those little images that I want to use let's see here I got more back here that I thought that would be pretty I don't really know how many I need I mean this is gonna be like a trial and error I really don't know what I'm doing I'm just kind of um, going along with this. Hopefully this will come out okay. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully. Okay. I'm just putting out little different kind of images. Okay. I think that's more or less enough. Okay. So a quick, a quick um, trick that I want to show you. Let's say, for example, you don't have a lot of like um, punch outs, right? Let's say you're really limited with your punches and you only have a few. Listen no problem at all I'm gonna show you a way how you can use your punches and try to create different embellishments in a very quick and simple and very sneaky way so let's just say right for example let's say um let's use this one because I really love this punch let's just say that you're very limited in punches right and you only have maybe one or two punches and this is your favorite punch right so you get this punch and you want to punch out some really awesome images so we'll do that and then you get this really adorable punch right and then you're like okay I want to punch more but how am I going to change my punches ah very easily go into your stash get your washi tapes I love to do this with my washi tapes okay especially if it's travel related it is perfect okay I got this one at the dollar store a very long time ago okay it's a really pretty kind of like travelish looking washi tape okay so very easy I'm going to just put this washi tape anywhere in my paper okay just like that and how are we going to create a punch a little bit different easy punch out and now you have a different see that now you have a different super cute different image okay and it's the same punch okay we can do the same thing actually now that I have this here I'm going to um, use this I'm not gonna waste obviously I'm not gonna waste this so let me punch out some images so that we can use it in our border so let's say okay you're getting tired of this image use another washi tape I have this one we're gonna use okay so you do the same thing and then this is another easy way for you to kind of use your little stash that you have at home and if you don't have a very uh, big selection of wa of um, punchers, don't worry about it. Okay? These little tricks really does help. Okay? So let's say I'm going to punch that. Now you have a different tag. 
very quick and simple there you go see that fabulous so I'm just a little trick that you can learn from this okay all right so let's try to create this little border that I want to create for my junk journal so how I thought that I'm gonna put this together is I'm going to use a whole bunch of different um, twine to kind of create a little border and the twine is going to be hanging from the different kinds of tags okay so my idea behind it is for every little tag that I have here I need to punch out a little punch so take out your little punch and just punch out a little punch okay just like that okay and just do that for all or not all but most of that's somebody calling me for most of your punch um, punch outs okay and the idea behind this is that we are going to be hanging a cute little thread from these punchers or from these um images and it's gonna look super cute okay let's see here um let's use this one and let's do one more let's use this one okay so here we have actually I want to use this one too I like this one a lot maybe from the side because I don't want to disturb disturb the image okay so once you do that, once you decide which of these are you going to be punching the little holes, put them on the side and just kind of like line them up how you want them to kind of look on your project, okay? So, let's see. Okay, I think I really like these little tags. Um, okay, see that? This is too plain. Let's get this one and let's put another one that looks more alive. Maybe this one. No, maybe this one. Okay, and I think I'm going to use this one as well. Now, the greatest thing about this project is you can really use anything with different shapes, okay? It doesn't have to be hearts. It doesn't have to be squares. It could really be anything. Anything that has a shape that you can turn into a cute little tag, you can use it, okay? I think I'm going to stop there for now. I'll use these for another project. So here we have a few tags, okay? Take out your twine. And very simple just wind just go through your tags and just put a cute little uh, cute little thread through your tags okay and if you want to skip every other tag you can do that too you don't have to do every single one you can skip if you want. Now, you don't want to make these too long, okay? Because, again, they're going to be borders. So, you don't want to make these too long. Use the next tag that you have. Oops, I'm off camera. Sorry. Okay, there you go. Alternate get a different color I have a blue one here okay so make sure you alternate the colors so that this can look a little bit um, different you don't want every single tag to look the same 
you want them to look different okay so alternate with colors of different twine okay there you go see that and you're going to basically do that through the whole through all your tags okay I should have probably had these already ready for you guys but I didn't think about it and it's probably going to take me longer than than what it should but that's okay I think you guys are okay with that right okay trim your tag you don't want your tag to be super long okay there's a lot here to thread but that's okay just have patience my friends have patience with me okay there we go I'm gonna do three more I'm gonna use black okay because black is also very nice to use black and white Let's see what else we're gonna use. Let's use some green. Let's use the heart. Actually, let's do the little flag. Okay just like so and let's do one more okay let's see what time is it ah it's not so bad timing is not that bad could be worse okay there we go Okay, I want to use this one for sure because this is really cute. So let's see, we're going to use, let's use the blue one. And then I think I'm done for now. I'm obviously going to be making a whole bunch of more of these off camera. But I wanted to give you an idea. Okay. Okay. I think we're good for now okay we're good for now so we have our tags here okay let's put this away I didn't use all of them because this is gonna obviously be a freaking long video and I don't want that okay so let's do that let's let's do these for now these are not so bad actually I really like this one too okay okay one more one more one more one more one more let's use this one okay very good okay all right so here we have all our tags okay so take out your high glue which I have here okay and you're going to start gluing these together, okay? So how you're going to do this is you're going to basically glue them like sideways. One going this way, the other one going the other way. Make sure you have the order that you want to use, them, okay? Because that's going to be very important. You want to make sure that the order that you're using them is the order that you want. So this one i'm going to put here i'm going to hot glue this a little bit to the back try not to touch the twine because you want the twine to be free okay see that just like that we're going to take the other image which is the circle and we're going to do the same thing hot glue the back avoid touching the one the tw twine and there you have it. OK. 
okay? Just like that. And you're going to continue doing the same thing until you have a desirable size, okay? A size that you are okay with. Now, don't be scared to make them a little crooked, like this one. See how I made this one a little crooked? That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It gives your border that you're creating some character, okay? So don't be afraid to use, to make them different um, directions, okay? That's what makes it, I think, fun, if you ask me, okay? This one, we're gonna go this way. See that? Okay, and we're gonna keep going until you decide that you have the desired length, okay? I'm gonna put this one here, no, I'm gonna put this one here. And I saw this, this border at Michael's and I did really like it and I was going to buy it, but I felt guilty spending like five bucks for a sticker that I know I can make myself. Obviously, we can all make it if we put our brains together. Okay, let's finish doing the rest. Okay. Just like that. And then I'm going to incorporate also some of the hearts. Now you don't have to have every single one with um, the, the little taggies. You can have simple ones like this. You can have circle ones like that. You could even have the simple craft ones. Let's look at some hearts. We have some hearts here, some other hearts, okay. So we can do that, we can incorporate. So let's incorporate, for example, this little um, circle. Right there. Okay. And maybe within the circle, we can incorporate another little circle like this one that has a map. There you go. See that? Now, let's perhaps maybe do one of these taggies. Let's see, maybe we can do this one like that. Just like that. Now be careful because the hot glue is very hot and you will burn yourself, okay? So try to be very careful with the hot glue. All right? Very good. Let's incorporate more. How about if we do a heart? Let's do let's do a few hearts. Okay? Maybe we can do Let's see. Maybe we can do this heart. And maybe we can do these two hearts. Yeah? Let's try. Two hearts. Maybe we can do A heart. Mm -hmm. Sure, why not? Maybe we can do the heart on this side. Okay, see that? It's very cute. It looks very funky, which I like. And Trust me, the one at Michael's, I will show you a picture of it. I have it in my phone. So before, um, before at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a picture of what it looks like. I mean, obviously, it's not as close as the Michael, um, but it's pretty close. It's pretty damn close, I have to say. It's pretty damn close. Okay. Let's double knot this here because I have a feeling this is going to go undone. So let's just double knot it. Okay. Very good. And 
I think, let's see, I think we're done. It doesn't look like we have any more to put together. We can try to put some more of these hearts together if you want. Let's incorporate some of these cute little hearts. Maybe here. Okay. And I think we're pretty much done. Okay, I like that. Okay, so after you decide the desired length that you want, you stop, obviously. I'm gonna stop here because I don't have any more ready for me to do. And I'm not gonna do this on camera because I'm gonna have you guys here forever. But I think we get the idea on how to do these borders. Now, how I'm going to use this is, I'm gonna show you very quickly. I wanna use this border and I wanna put this border right here see that right there is where I'm gonna put my border on my book see that that's really really cute so I'm going to use my tape to temporarily put it there just to show you because I might want to add more tags later on but just so that you have an idea how it looks it looks really cute guys I really love that Okay, and that's, and that's what, how it's going to look. You see that? I'm going to come really up close so you can see. All these cute little taggies that we created in no time with just basically leftover papers and just recycled paper. Recycled paper. <laughs> recycled paper and some washi tape. Okay? That is really cute. And I'm going to show you really quickly the one that I saw at Michael's. So you can kind of have an idea of which is the one that um, I was trying to kind of um, imitate, right? Let's see. Give me one second. I'm trying to find it. Okay. So this is the one I saw in Michael's. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to come really up close. You see how, how it's the border and it also has like little tickets. And just cute little traveling images okay it's not the same thing oops it's not the same thing but it's damn close okay it's pretty damn close and I love how that looks it looks so awesome for the travelers journal I think it looks perfect okay guys I hope you guys like this video I hope I didn't make you dizzy <laughs> with the back and forth um i'm gonna be creating more cute little embellishments i have tons here i i really i think i did a little bit too much of cutting um out some embellishments but that's okay i'm gonna use these for my my book so i'm not gonna i'm gonna have plenty to work with i hope you guys like this video um i hope that this actually helped you guys get ideas on how to decorate your traveler's book um, please let me know if this is um, something that you guys are you know thought it was interesting I thought it was pretty cool thumbs up for more videos like this um, thank you all for stopping by and I will see you guys on my next video bye